you think, eh? Beat the Jager. You got nothing like this where you come from. Ah, uh, celebration in the land of the free. Uh, just nothing can compare. Love it. It's fantastic. I'll bet you'll be finding a way to Buffalo to take it home. <laughs> More likely, I'll have a lovely Irish girl you'll be taking home. <laughs> oh, aye, aye. oh, with the forwards offshore coming up, we'll need to be quick, eh? Well, all right, come along then. I'll introduce oh. you. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> To the nation that never says die. To the Irish! Come on, you beauty pig is home, man. Ah, uh, the best time to be working offshore, eh, lad? Yeah, when we're all back on land. <laughs> I still can't believe you guys didn't want to stay on the ship and play with the new IT system I installed. Oh, no chance. <laughs> hey, I'll be appreciating you for down the pub, mate. Pete, and God's powerful plan for oh. your life. <laughs> Dublin Airport and then home oh. to South Africa. God, Please, Lord. God here well. calling Pete for his next assignment. Oh, wait, wait, I hear a voice. Hawaii! Oh. Manager oh. needs training in how to raise workers' pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, guys, let's just hope it's you who doesn't get the call from the big headquarters in the sky on the yeah. way back to the ship. Yeah. Hey. All right. Hey. We're sticking with you. Oh, oh, no. No. You're not no. getting out of, out of our sight. <laughs> no, I must make my escape. Cheers, Pete. All right. See you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> story about the journey from conflict to forgiveness. His experience is recorded in the long walk to freedom, a walk which suffered major interruption during more than two decades of his imprisonment Hello. nearby Northern Island. Pete? Richard? Are you okay? Sure, I'm just driving back home from the airport. I know you're just home, but we'd love to see you at the church breakfast tomorrow. Remember? Great program. Can you make it? Sure, Richard. <laughs> you know me, I'll do anything for a free breakfast. Good enough for me. <laughs> Thank you for your prayers, Farhat. I really appreciate you coming here so often. Well, look how often you've done the same for me, hmm? I'm only one small link in a very large network, remember? But how are you, really? Hmm? Struggling. 
Farhat. It's good to see you. How was business today? Well, we had some customers, so that's good. But fortunately, life isn't about making money. People are more important. But now, I'm going to leave you two in peace. Farhat, we appreciate you and thank you for your visit. Oh, I left some fruit. Enjoy. I'll come back again soon. Thank you, Farhat. You rang, sir? Get yourself in here, Diaga. Did you get my message about keeping your suitcase packed? I was going to ask me how Ireland was. Listen, the only thing I want to know is when will the money be in the bank? Bank transfer information. You want to get on in this company. Keep the money rolling in. Thanks for coming. Now, pick up the ticket and the brief as you leave. You can read it on the way there. On the way where? Middle East. Again? You leave Monday. So soon? Just two miles from here lies Robben Island, where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned for nearly 25 years. The significant... Oh! The significant... The significance of his contribution can never be underestimated. Why don't you try importance instead? I beg your pardon? Well, you keep saying significance. Now, if it was me, I'd try importance. And just who made you an authority on the English language, or even the sacred accent of the Irish? I think you are nothing but an impertinent, whoa, whoa, insulting, whoa, arrogant... Whoa, 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 How can you say that you don't know the first thing about me? I'm Pete Diaga. Let me take you out for dinner. I beg your pardon. Yeah, well, I'm guessing you want me to apologize, so let me take you out for dinner, and I'll tell you how sorry I am. You are full of the blarney. Indeed, I will not. <laughs> I tell you, this is breathtaking, and the colour of the sea is amazing. Oh, no, 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 I don't mind. No. Please, no. What am I going to do with it on the plane? Oh, I suppose this is meant to be significant. How was it? Anything today? There is nothing. Nothing, and maybe there never will be anything. Oh, try not to lose hope, Masood. I know it's painful for you to be out of work and with the wedding getting so close. But you need to be strong, especially for Rima's sake. It is hard, Mother. Hard. Always being strong. Especially for... You know why? Many are praying for you. Like Farhat. Everyone in the network. There are still the sweeping jobs. Wouldn't that be better than nothing? Except, except. Except, 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 except everything. A discrimination? But mother, I say no thanks to sweeping. God has given me abilities. And if he has, I'm going to use it. But in his time, I want to show people that Christians can succeed in this country. Okay, I'll get you a grapefruit. And if I can get a better job, one dignity and respect, it will encourage the others to do the same. Sometimes we have to fight for what we believe. Hey, put that fruit back on the table. Please. What's going on? Farah is in trouble. Why are you doing this? Be reasonable, please. Hey, you little thieves, you put the fruit back on. What if we don't? You're supposed to turn the other cheek. Masoud, how are you, my friend? 
I hope you'll think it good news that before sunset on Monday, I'll be back in your country on business. I hope we can see each other. Masood, a fax has just arrived for you. For me? Yeah. Mother, I got a fax from my friend Pete. Do you remember Pete, Mother? He comes here sometimes to work with the big companies. Hmm? He's a very important man. He's coming next week. He's coming back? Maybe he could help you find a job. Mother, that is an excellent idea. That is an excellent idea. Give my best wishes to your parents. God bless, Pete. Oh, oh mother, Mwah! God is good. True. Mm. Even when things aren't going the way you'd like. <laughs> so yeah, after your studies, you plan to go overseas before you come back and slog out the yes. world. Yes. 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 Uh, great. Yeah. Guys, glad you came. Pete. Richard. Great, you made it. Good to see you. Jeff, this is Pete Diago, one of our supporters. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Jeff is our speaker. Oh, right. One traveler to another, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's choose and chat. So, uh, Richard tells me you represent the persecuted church. I do. Though I'm not always sure what those words actually communicate to people. Pete travels a bit to the Middle East. You've seen some of these things, haven't you? Sure. But I guess you won't be involved there. Yeah? I mean, smuggling Bibles into that part of the world is pretty much out of the question, right? Even after 50 years, I guess there are still people who think of us as uh, Bible smugglers. But you still supply Bibles? Sure, millions every year. But as you'll see, the story is much bigger than that. Where work do you do, Pete? Me? Uh, I'm in IT. And you're involved in training? You better believe it. Interesting, isn't it, how we just accept the value of being trained for work. But we don't think so much of the importance of being trained spiritually. Guess not. Well, much of my time is spent training people to be strong especially when life gets tough. These guys do vocational training as well. Right. And help people to find jobs. Sure, but uh, you know, one of the most important things is to be there for them, showing them you care. In the Middle East? Sure, and elsewhere. Are you uh, going back soon? Uh, it's my next assignment. Why, are you going to talk about the Middle East today? No, actually today it's China. <laughs> Mok? Uh, thanks. Do you really think so, Salma? <laughs> wow, Rima, you look absolutely beautiful. Mother, you don't think you're being just a little biased? Hmm? And so what if she is? She's still right. <sighs> Let's hope Masa would think so. He seems quite restless these days. He's still living in shock, Mother. After what happened, we all are. Mm. What Masaud needs is to find a really good job. Then we can start putting our lives back together again. Try not to worry, Rima. I'm sure you both have a great future ahead of you. Worldwide, 200 million Christians are persecuted for their faith. Millions more face all kinds of discrimination. China, as you'll see, is just one example. Just imagine. You, you, your children were persecuted for your faith. What do you need most? Hmm? Prayer? Encouragement? Training in how to handle the situation. Practical help. But from where? So, we have all the permissions. But that's fantastic. China, here I come. <laughs> Religion in China is not illegal, but it is tightly controlled. This is an officially registered church. Its activities are monitored by the state. Millions of Chinese Christians have chosen instead to join unregistered house churches, but penalties can be severe. A secret location in the heart of China. To avoid discovery, this baptismal ceremony begins just after dawn. Labeled Christianity fever by the Chinese authorities, the massive growth is across every age group.
The explosion of numbers is so great that in some cases there is only one trained pastor for every 10,000 Christians. And often it's the leaders who are targeted with more severe forms of punishment. <laughs> The body is a unit made up of many parts. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. Now you are the body of Christ and each one of you are part of it. We're in this together. China, you're not. Oh yes I am. Budgeted and agreed a month ago and now the Chinese government is playing ball. So what's it about? It's a TV report on how China is opening up to all sorts of freedoms. Same documentary I'm working on here. Yeah, no wonder the Chinese government gave their permission. But they'll only show you what they want you to see. Reporters not telling the whole truth, Pete. <laughs> Go way out of that. Well, come on, it's China. I mean, just today we had a guy in our church telling us about all the problems Christians are facing there. Now that's a story. Well, what do you expect? Religion always causes problems. Just ask the Irish. Maybe the Christians did go through a very hard time in China. Did? Liana, this stuff's bang up to date. And all because they won't register their churches officially. Well, they should register them then. Meaning? Meaning? My researchers have discovered a lot of government approved churches in China. Right in the middle of big cities like Shanghai and Beijing. <laughs> Don't you know? They even print Bibles over there. Your information's out of date. Look, just because the Chinese are key players in the world markets and build skyscrapers and eat Big Macs, doesn't mean that they're not persecuting Christians who won't play by their rules. Don't believe it, Liana. Trust me, Pete, I won't be duped. I'll be there with my eyes wide open. I must dash, I haven't a thing packed. Oh, thanks for the meal. So when do I see you? Not before I get back. Bye-bye. Liana, keep your laptop firewalled. <sighs> Go, please. Ladies and gentlemen, can the officer the class and see power signs? We have commenced a descent into Beijing Capital International Airport. <laughs> Miss Liana. Liana Donnelly. I am Kuo Yinglin. Kuo Yinglin. Welcome to Beijing. Thank you. I will be looking after you and making sure that you have all the accurate information about China. Oh, it's much appreciated. Pleased to meet Li Chen. Yeah. He will be your cameraman. He has lots of experience working with foreign visitors to China. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you both. You've made many arrangements for me, I think. Many visits. Many interviews with many important people. And I'm sure we'll be able to show that China is becoming a very modern country. We will have no problem. Hello. Will you ask me to show you around the city? Oh, thank you. Xie You're welcome. Good. Okay, this way, this, this way. This way? All right. Thank you. A new 
generation of Chinese now lives with a new set of values. China once built walls to keep foreigners out. Now they're taking the world on. Today's China different from the one your parents knew when they were your age. Today, how we measure people is like how much money they have, what car they drive, what type of home they live in. Thank you very much. Thanks. Pete, thanks for your concern at the dinner table, but really, there is no need. Westernization is traveling through Chinese cities at the speed of sound. This really is a country of cell phones and pages, McDonald's and bowling alleys. They're claiming that in just a few decades, China will replace America as the world's largest economy. But there are still the traditions. I'm off for some Peking duck. Liana, if you haven't already seen this week's copy of Newsweek, I suggest you check it out as soon as you get this. It might open your mind to a few things. Pete. Yes, please come in. I need your help. Okay. I've been trying to access a website, but it keeps cutting out. Perhaps you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Oh, sometimes there are technical problems with websites. It's strange. It's, do you think it's been blocked? Mm, I think uh, for now, it is not possible to connect. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Welcome. It's great to see you. It was a fantastic surprise to hear you were coming back. You remember Tarek? Ah, of course. Who could forget? For sure, I remember you. <laughs> it's this one. Tarek. Thanks. So how are you, my friend? Well, I'm well enough. I'm sure there's a longer story than that. Still not married. Ask him what he's doing later this week. I'm well... getting married. To Rima. Excellent. <laughs> and now that you're here, you can join in the celebrations. Huh? It's a deal. <laughs> How is Rima? She's just working on things for the wedding. So where do we get a taxi? This is it. And where's the driver? This is he. You're a taxi driver. Wait. There are people, the support network, who help us in all kinds of ways. One of them is trained Tarek, and now he owns his own taxi. Today, I even transported a small cow. She's just vacated a seat for you. It may still be warm. So, do they just train taxi drivers? No, no, no. All kinds of jobs. But I always wanted to be a driver. I love driving. How's your family? My family? Well, Pete, you um, would not have heard uh, what happened to my father and uh, at our church. Some 
five weeks ago. Uh, these extremists, they threw grenades into the congregation. Masoud's father was killed. We've talked about postponing the wedding, but I don't believe that would have been my father's wish. So would I. I had no idea. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say, my friend. But you can pray for us. And you must encourage others to pray. He was standing with a Bible in his hand. The image is always on my mind. I see it when I'm asleep, I see it when I'm awake. It never leaves me. Pete, mm. I have a favor to ask of you. Sure. Will you speak to the congregation on Sunday? Me? I'll speak. It's, it's, it's not something I do, Masood. I, I... I don't think I'd even know what to say. Something uh, you can't do or something you won't do. Well... Well, let's, let's see what's being scheduled. And then we'll see what time's left over to write a speech. No, no, Pete. Not a speech. A message from your heart. I promise it'll bring great encouragement. We'll see. No, you're tired. We'll take you to your hotel. I'm just checking everything is okay for you. It's fine, thank you. Everything's okay. Thank you for checking. Thanks so much, Tarek. Uh, see you back here in two hours. I'll pick you up, yes? Right. Have a good meeting. Thanks a lot. Liana, hope the duck went down well. Which reminds me, did you find the Newsweek article on the web? They're reporting 200,000 people in Chinese prisons without being charged or tried for a crime. Some of them are Christians. Be aware. Pete. to the manager. Who wants him? It's Daniel the acrobat. The manager is speaking. Do you need a performer this evening? Tonight's show is cancelled. The theater may undergo inspection. The next show is tomorrow at 9 p.m. I have the costumes. Thank you. Insult against whom? Against the Quran, against the Prophet, against Allah. We have to be very careful about what we say in this country. 
Wait, you mean even if you're just accused of saying something negative about Islam, you're in trouble? It's very possible. What then? He found guilty. Come, we have to go. We cannot discuss this here. I don't think I can live with this kind of pressure. Well, not all of us can. You know, some even convert to Islam because they can't cope with the pressure. But you know, there are some. There are some who come to the fire with a faith that will amaze you. Can you spare a few minutes more? I can't be late, but. Uh... But first, I. We'll have to change the way you look. Oh. I said the network has visited again. Is there a problem? No, no, no. We thank God for the network. I have broken the law. This is because since three years, I am, am no longer Muslim. One night, some people come to my home. They beat me. They tore pages from my Bible. And they took my children to an Islamic school where they have no longer the influence of their father. No, sir. Tell him what happened to your wife. My wife? My wife has died of a broken heart. <laughs> so, but there's got to be something we can do. I mean, we, we could hire a lawyer and at least it's... get the children back. No lawyer will take the case. By converting to Christianity, Nasser has broken the religious law. We could never win. And yet you're strong. How? Some people come pray with me. They brought a Bible for me and explain it to me. And I am learning to trust in God for everything. I wish I could help. I guess I could just pray. And, and ask others to pray too. Why do you feel it is so little? How it makes my heart glad that a stranger would ask God's help for me. How does that make me feel? <laughs> and what answer might God give to your prayer? for my wedding dress. I wonder how much they are. Hey, what do you think, Salma? Can we afford these? Salma! Huh? What do you think? Um, beautiful. Hmm? Yeah. It should not be allowed. My sisters would never appear in public without the head cover. I think they should be told so they stop doing this. I think we should leave, hmm? We're being watched. You're right. Just try to act normal, huh? Let's talk to them. I don't 
incredible man. How's it possible to even be like that? Zahud! <laughs> How are you, Masood? Good to see you. <laughs> this is my friend, Pete. Good to know Masood has friends in high places. <laughs> Not a very high place, sir, but we do our best to keep the law. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> so, keep within the law, my friend. Na Naturally. <laughs> I'll see you. Your taxi is waiting, sir. Ah, it's Eric. Assalamu alaikum. See you later at the mosque. Wa alaikum assalam. Why do you think you can appear like this? Why don't you cover your head? Your sleeves are too short. You think you can respect us like that? What are we going to do? We, we need to find Masoud. He'll know what to do. We can teach you the rules. Huh? You disgraceful women. How you look at you? We didn't do anything. They've been taunting us about our clothes. We didn't do anything. We were just... We Can't were... you teach your woman to be decent? Masood! Masood! Zahul! Something really terrible has happened to Rima and his sister. They were attacked by three youths close to the house. I recognize them. I think I even know the name of one. What do you want me to do? I want you to help me find them and arrest them. How many witnesses were there? It was me, it was Rima and his sister. How many witnesses? Three. Only three? I'm sorry, Masood. There's nothing I can do. Zahul, a crime has been committed. I know, I know. I'm sorry. But as the law stands, there are not enough witnesses. You know, a Christian's word counts for only half that of a Muslim. You're totally outnumbered. Surely, believe me, if there's anything I could do, I would. The behavior of these people brings shame on Islam, but there's, there's nothing I can do. Please, just be glad Rima's is, is unhurt. And you have some good people who should be able to handle it from here on in. Yeah. Now that the training is complete, next we need to focus on our security. Yeah, we worry about the extremists. Our company could easily become a target. Why? Well, our links with Westerners, like you as an example. How about, look, I have some friends. Uh, they're not experts in the field of security, but we could easily have them trained. Why don't I ask them to get in touch? Well, uh, looking at the time, we have to get you back to your hotel. Liana, my visit to the Middle East is going well. Enough business to keep us in work for years ahead, so the boss should be pleased. I wish I could share some of it with my friend Masoud. His work prospects appear bleak, yet there's little I can do. The regular calls to prayer cover the city like a blanket, suffocating my optimism for the Christian community here. Pete. It shouldn't be allowed. This guy would have killed us if he caught us. No. He's very dangerous. And it is not the first time. My brother had an accident with his bicycle and some fruit was spilled. This Masahud was going to kill him. No, but I think we should teach her a lesson as well. She does not behave like a woman should. And she does this thing with her eyes. But you shouldn't look, young man. You need to resist temptation. We did not look, sir. Their influence can creep up on us in many 
subtle ways. We need to stand against all attempts to make us like the West. Their standards are a disgrace to Anna. We went to persuade her not to act in this way. Instead, we had to run for our lives from this madman who's going to marry her. Did this man say anything, I mean, about the Prophet? Think carefully. I'm sure I heard he muttered something, but it was difficult to hear while we were running away, huh? I agree. I think he said something. Well, then we need to question this man. We need to establish the facts. I think I heard that these two people are to be married soon. Well, then we need to act quickly. Pete, sorry to hear about your friend. Pity he isn't Chinese. This country is expanding so fast, there'll soon be a job for everyone, even for pastors. You should see some of the churches they've opened here. Who knows, I might even pop in one Sunday. Yes, the barriers are coming down. Hopefully the Great Wall's still standing strong enough, though. Hope to get there soon. Liana. P.S. Mm -mm. Who's feeding my giraffe? This is a highlight. I can't believe I'm here at last. It is more than 5,000 kilometers long. We better get going then. The theaters are ready for Daniel and the audience are waiting. All of you have arrived safely. This is the last time we will use this house. Next time, there will be other arrangements. Brother Chen will inform you in the usual way. We are expecting Daniel to arrive to continue the training. Some books have been delivered. We just need Daniel, so let us pray for his safety. One of our new churches had a visitor. He told the people that Jesus has returned and is living in China. This sounds like one of the false teachers Daniel warned us about. Daniel should be here later today. Masao Butras, do you take Rima Hanna to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife.
一下，没关系。我知道这些是圣经，是不过你们教会每一个人用的。There are more books on the way, but the couriers must take great care, because the authorities are watching. The message of the Bible is God is love. Scripture says, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. Perfect love drives out fear. Even when persecuted, we must not forget this important truth. He's the one. Impossible. He's my friend. He's done nothing. He's the one who's been wrong. Masoud Botros, you must come to answer serious accusations made against you. Against me? What have I done? Masoud, what is going on? You. Sahur, please, this is my wedding day. I had no idea it was you. Zahur. Cuff him. Not me. He attacked Reem. Let the law take its course. There must be something we can do. Why are you doing this? Hmm? This can't be happening. No, this is a wedding. Order, please. What's going on? Oh, Lord. What are we going to do? No, please, no. He's my husband. Sorry. Quiet! Do not obstruct the law, any of you, or there will be more arrests. What kind of country is it that allows people to burst into a wedding and arrest an innocent man? What is the problem here? Can't we talk about this in a civilized way? Take my advice, sir. Stay out of this. You are a foreigner. You do not understand. Let the law take its course. Perhaps if you have stricter rules in your own country, you understand more, my friend. Rima, let's see what can be done about this. The news editor, please. Hello, I, I want to report a horrendous abuse of human rights. This is a clear, clear case of discrimination on religious grounds. It's a young Christian man who's been arrested at his own wedding for no apparent reason.
Yeah, but an innocent man is going to prison. Good morning, Ms. Liana. There is a change in our program. Oh. We have been thinking that you should see how in China we have been encouraging more religious freedoms. So today, we can attend the largest church in the city. I think it will be good. Oh, excuse me. Would you mind if I just took this call? Hello? Hi, it's Pete. <coughs> Look, Liana. You're my only hope. The world needs to know the truth. Y you could play your part with this documentary. <sighs> okay. First you need to connect with a guy called Jeff. He'll open your eyes. Okay. Bye. Ko Yinglin. Great with connect. We believe the time is right to let people know the reality of many Christians in China. And do you think I can help? I'm going to take you to a place where only this week two pastors were arrested for, for having Bibles in and organizing a meeting. We don't know where they've been taken or when we'll see them again. But this is crazy. It's so obvious that China is becoming more free, more open. They're open to the West for business, but not to unregistered house churches. Help me with this. Why don't they just join the proper church then? It's like everything else in China. It's an image and government control. But this is unbelievable. Many Christians are even prepared to go to prison rather than face these restrictions. So, what are you taking me to see? Let me take this. Wait. It's a manager. The acrobats have been fine. <laughs> But the show is still cancelled. I don't know what to say. The acro... The pastors have been released. Heavily fined. Probably all the money they have, but they, they're free. Great for us, but not so much of a story for you. On the contrary. Would they talk to me? So old wanted you to speak to us. When I arrived here a few days ago, um, while standing in this very place, Maso did ask me to make a... He asked me to say something to you. <laughs> from scripture. And <laughs> from my heart. <laughs> and the truth is... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Helpless. <laughs> it's almost time for me to leave. <laughs> in these circumstances, in this situation, we need to listen for the voice of God. We 
need to be filled with God's grace. And then be instruments of healing and reconciliation. Mothers, you know the pain of childbirth, hmm? but without suffering, can there be new life? Like the midwife who encourages and supports and brings you through. Let us stand firm, each one for the other, hmm? each one for the other. Just a few minutes only, and then you must leave. I'm sorry I was not able to attend our full wedding. The celebrations continued. Miss Owen, I pray that you will not be bitter. Everyone is devastated. And you? How are you? I am as any bride would be, in love with her husband and praying that he will soon be free. Then I hope God will answer your prayers. That is my prayer, Miss I have heard that all over the world, the people in the network are praying and doing many things to bring you justice. When my father died, I wanted to show people that they can succeed in this country. But maybe I need to lead in a different way. Do you think a man can find courage? in the prison cell. By the way, uh, I kept a giraffe for you. And I was wondering, is he the real reason you came back? Huh. Officially, I came back because I work here. My documentary, remember? And unofficially? Unofficially, I thought there were things we might discuss. Official things or unofficial things? O official. <laughs> you mean China. So I was right. 
Well, let's just say you weren't wrong. But you've been through a lot too. Yeah, Leon, it might not be obvious to you, but you're looking at a different man. Humbled and informed. Humbled? Wow. Honestly. Humbled to realize how much there is to learn from people who might be unimportant in the world's eyes, but are spiritual giants. You know, I've been used to the kind of religion that's just rammed down your throat. This has been such a revelation to me. Absolutely. Talking of which, I have some friends I'd like you to meet. Together? <laughs> Do you think we're ready for this? We're ready for takeoff. <laughs> eh? <Woo -hoo! laughs> I pray for strength to cope and not to lose faith. And not to feel bitter. Give us the grace to accept those things we cannot change. Pete, what are you doing here? I don't understand. It's food. Rima, I had to come. This is Liana. She's a BBC reporter. Uh, we were thinking, uh, we're, we're going to get you out of here one way or another. I want to include your story in my documentary about the fight for freedom. I've been working on similar stories in China, and you I really think- You want to get out of this fight for justice. We're just seeing you here, knowing what you're doing. You must know it means a lot to me. There are many ways to make a difference. Thank you. We know the information has reached the whole network. We are not alone. I also know that my case is being heard in a higher court than you can find in this country or in any other country. At least we could, we could help you find work when you get out of here uh, in America, Europe, South Africa, if you want. Pete, we believe our place is here. We want to be a light to the people in our country. If not, then who? Just like the midwife. Who supports and brings you through. Masoud, Rima, I have news. Good news. 